Greetings and welcome to the Bibb County School District's Parent University for September 2021. The Bibb County RTI Department is so grateful for the opportunity to provide our parents with an overview of RTI in Bibb County and to make available some additional resources that provide further clarity regarding some of our parents' most frequently asked questions related to the response to intervention processes. My name is Laren Carlton and I'm the Elementary RTI Coordinator for Bibb County. I am also joined by Sharon Taylor Cox, the secondary RTI coordinator for the Bibb County School District. Thank you for having us. What is MTSS? In education, we use many acronyms and MTSS is just one of many you may hear as a parent. So what is MTSS? Well, MTSS stands for Multi-Tiered System of Supports and it is an overarching framework that uses data-driven problem solving to identify student needs and to provide targeted support to all students in a proactive manner. MTSS is designed to help schools identify struggling students early and intervene quickly. It focuses on the whole child. This means it supports academic growth, but it also addresses many other areas too. These include behavior, social and emotional needs, and absenteeism. A tiered approach is a vital part of the MTSS framework. And as students' needs increase, so does the level of support provided to them. This means a student may move up the tiers from receiving whole group and small group support at tiers one and two to requiring more individualized support at tier three. As you can see from the image on your screen, MTSS includes many systems and programs, including PBIS and RTI. Today, we will provide a brief overview of RTI, its tiers, and the importance of parental involvement in the RTI process in Bibb County. What is RTI? RTI equals response to intervention. It is a tiered framework for addressing students' academic, social, emotional, and behavioral needs. In general, RTI has components that can be customized by states, districts, and schools to best address the needs and environment of their students and communities. The U.S. Department of Education provides school districts with overarching ideas or core characteristics of a successful RTI model. These characteristics include 1. Students receiving high-quality research-based instruction in their general education setting. 2. Continuous monitoring of student performance. 3. All students being screened for academic and behavioral problems. And 4. Multiple levels or tiers of instruction that are increasingly more intense based on the individual student's response to instruction. In the Bibb County School District, we believe the best intervention is prevention. This means we strive to provide high quality core instruction on grade level content to all students using engaging strategies and innovative instructional methods. We follow a three-tiered RTI model that focuses on preventing student failure, tier one, intervening when students require additional time or practice to learn, tier two, and remediating if students struggle to master previously taught foundational skills, or Tier 3. If a student's needs align with Tier 3 of the RTI model, individualized goals are developed within an RTI plan by the school's SST or student support team, and parents are also contacted to participate in this process. What is Tier 1 in RTI? Tier 1 in RTI equals response to instruction. Tier 1 of the RTI pyramid can be thought of as response to instruction because when we say Tier 1, we are referring to the instruction all students are receiving. Tier 1 refers to the high quality research-based instruction all students receive on grade level standards. This is the core of a child's educational journey and in Bibb County. This is the tier we are referencing when we say Tier 1 strong because in Bibb County, 
we believe that the best intervention is prevention, which starts with Tier 1 Strong instruction for each student. In Bibb County, Tier 1 Strong is not just a motto, it is a call to action and it exemplifies the process and expectations we uphold in each school and in each classroom throughout our district. At Tier 1, our teachers provide high quality lessons on core content that align with our state performance standards and support the high expectations we have that each student will perform at or above grade level. And this core instruction is coupled with reteaching opportunities when necessary throughout our instructional units. What is Tier 2 and RTI? Tier 2 and RTI equals response to intervention. Tier 2 of the RTI pyramid can be thought of as response to intervention because when we say Tier 2, we are referring to the interventions and reteaching opportunities students will receive when they struggle to master grade level content. Tier 2 refers to the teacher's instructional response when students struggle to master grade level skills. In Bibb County, our teachers are continuously reteaching throughout each instructional unit in both the large and small group settings to address students' needs. But after teachers provide this instruction and reteaching on core content at Tier 1, students take chapter or unit assessments to determine if mastery has occurred or if additional time and supports are still needed. If a student's performance on these assessments shows that they did not master the essential grade level standards taught during this unit, their teacher will then provide small group lessons and interventions focused on those standards to make certain your child has the skills necessary to be successful moving forward. This is Tier 2 Intervention. What is Tier 3 in RTI? Tier 3 of the RTI pyramid can be thought of as response to intervention or remediation. Because when we say tier three, we are referring to the remediation that identified students receive when their performance on screeners and diagnostic assessments show they are missing essential skills taught in previous years. Tier three refers to the SST or student support team process where students are provided individualized intensive interventions also known as remediation. At Tier 3, teachers create RTI plans for students with individualized goals and supports that target any missing foundational prerequisite skills. Foundational prerequisite skills are simply those essential skills that students were taught in previous years but have not yet mastered. And if we do not provide additional time and supports to learn these skills, the student will likely fall further behind in their current grade level because these foundational skills are just that important. For example, a first grade student who did not learn all of the letter names and letter sounds in kindergarten is going to struggle significantly in first grade. We know this because in first grade, students are learning to read by decoding or sounding out simple words such as cat, mop, or big. If a student does not know the sound each letter makes, they will be unable to sound out or read these words. And since learning letter names and sounds is a kindergarten skill, if a first grader has not mastered them yet, a tier three plan will most likely be necessary. If a teacher team reviews a student's data and determines that a tier three plan is necessary, the SST or student support team will meet to develop individualized goals and create an individualized tier three intervention plan for the student. At this time, parents are then invited to attend and participate in the SST tier three process. And parents, we want and need you in these meetings. In the Bibb County School District, parents are invited to attend and participate in all Tier 3 RTI or SST student support team meetings. Parents should expect to receive a parent invitation letter 
that includes the date and time as well as the meeting format of either face-to-face -face or virtual via Teams or a telephone call. At each meeting, parents will be asked to share their concerns as they relate to their students' academic, behavioral, speech, or social-emotional performance. Parents are an integral part of the student support team, and the information you provide is crucial to the process. The school's SST will also provide information related to your child's classroom performance, their overall assessment information, as well as the progress they've been making on the individual goals included in their Tier 3 RTI plan. In addition, your child's teachers will likely provide you with ideas for how you can support your child's learning and growth at home as well. This partnership between home and school can make a huge difference in your child's success. But we understand if a parent's schedule does not allow for participation in every meeting. So if you are unable to attend, please be sure to request a copy of your student's plan or the meeting minutes so you will know exactly what was discussed and the next steps for helping your child achieve their individual learning goals. As RTI coordinators and parents ourselves, we know you may have additional questions about the RTI framework in Bibb County. So, we hope you will utilize the document shown on your screen for more in-depth information about the process and services provided to our students. As always, our parents are welcome to contact us directly if needed. Please know we are here to support you and support your student meet their full potential. Thank you again for the opportunity to share about the Response to Intervention RTI framework in the Bibb County School District. Good afternoon, parents. My name is Curlandra Lightfoot Smith, and I am the PBIS coordinator for Bibb County School District. And I am so excited to share with you some information about one of our district's non-negotiables, PBIS, or Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports. Please watch this brief video that showed you a little bit about Bib PBIS. Today, we will focus on a few learning objectives. We will learn what PBIS is. We will learn who we are as a district and our guiding principles. We will learn about the 10 critical elements of PBIS. We will also learn how PBIS is being implemented in Bibb County Schools. And we can also learn some ways that parents can get involved with PBIS in your school and in the home. In the area of PBIS implementation, all Bibb County schools were trained by the Georgia Department of Education on how to do that work. But the Department of Education has a set of beliefs that says that behavior is learned, therefore it can be taught. They also believe that positive and preventive measures are more effective than more punitive responses to discipline. And that is what helps us to frame the, um, the work that we do here in Bibb County around PBIS. And we'll go a little bit deeper in what that work looks like. Bibb County School District began implementing PBIS 
back in the 2014-2015 school year. We began implementing with high schools and middle schools. And now we are very proud to say that all Bibb County schools, including our programs, have been trained in PBIS by our Georgia Department of Education. The next three sets of slides show the progression of PBIS implementation throughout our school district. So what is PBIS? PBIS, again, is Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports and it is an evidence-based, data-driven framework proven to reduce disciplinary incidents, increase a school's sense of safety, improve school climate, and support improved academic outcomes for all students. The foundation of PBIS is continual teaching of a set of expectations. And we'll talk a little bit more about those expectations later as well. Now, when we look at PBIS, it is different from, from traditional discipline that we may have experienced as parents when we were in school. So if you think back to your school experience, traditional discipline, the goal was to stop the unde undesirable behavior through the use of punishment, and it focuses on students' problem behavior. But with PBIS, the goal is to stop the undesirable behavior by replacing that undesirable behavior with a new behavior or teaching a new skill, altering environments, teaching appropriate skills, and acknowledging the appropriate behaviors before they become, uh, so that they can become more frequent. Now we will get into the nuts and bolts of PBIS. PBIS has 10 critical elements that drive the work that we do in all Bibb County schools. In order for schools to have a positive culture and climate, research says that these 10 critical features should be in place. So each school should have a team of educators that come together to help drive the work in the school. There should be faculty commitment. There should be an effective procedure for dealing with discipline. There should be a, a program or a process in place to assess data. There should be clear expectations and rules developed. There should be um, an acknowledgement system or reward system. There should be a teaching component where we teach students the expected behaviors. There should be an action plan, PBIS in the classroom, and evaluations. In the next slides, I'll show you some look-fors so that when you go into your child's Bibb County school, you will see um, evidence of PBIS implementation. As I previously stated, there are 10 critical elements of PBIS implementation. One of those elements are school expectations. Every school in Bibb County should have a set of expectations that students, staff, parents, and the community abide by. So this will be one of our PBIS look for's. When you are in your child's school, I encourage you to look for their school's PBIS expectations. As you can see below, they will be posted on a matrix. These are some examples that we have. As you can see at Herd Elementary, they are the Herd Hawks. They are responsible, work together, keep trying, and show respect. At Sonny Carter Elementary School, they lead. They lead by being engaged, having a positive attitude, and being disciplined. And at Elam Alexander, they are safe, responsible, and respectful.
Another look for in your child's school is the PBIS matrix. Each school has a set of expectations, but also have a set of rules that are captured on a matrix. These rules are explicitly taught by all school staff. So for example, at Alexander II, they are stars in the classroom. They are safe, respectful, and responsible. And as you can see on their matrix, they specifically and explicitly define what being a star in the classroom looks like. That means keeping your hands and feet to yourself, following directions the first time they're given, and using materials. Each one of these matrices are placed throughout the school in different settings. As you can see at Appling Middle School, their expectations are pride, but they have a set of expectations for the hallway, the cafeteria, the restroom, and their assemblies. PBIS does not stop when we go virtual. Each school also has a set of virtual expectations so that students will know how to be successful when working from home. Take a look at Howard Middle School's example of their virtual matrix. This is another great example of a virtual PBIX matrix. This is Burdell Hunt Elementary School's Pride Matrix. Parents, there are also ways that you can implement PBIS in your homes. You can set clear expectations, replace negative behaviors with positive behaviors, model the expectations for your children, check for understanding of those expected behaviors, and acknowledge the positive behaviors when they do them correctly. Parents, this is an example of a PBIS matrix in the home. As you can see, the expectations are that our children help out, own your behavior, and manners count in the home. And it provides them with specific details as far as how um, being a, a positive student at the home looks like. Another one of the 10 critical elements is acknowledgements. And this is another look for that we charge you to examine. Parents, each school in Bibb County has an acknowledgement system that rewards students when they demonstrate those positive behaviors. Take a look at Hartley Elementary School. They are celebrating their PBIS expectations and they're rewarding those students who had perfect attendance. In the middle, that's Howard Middle School's PBIS store where students that demonstrate positive behavior and earn positive points they can go to the store and shop using their points. And take a look at Ingram Pie Elementary School's Wildcat store. When students earn their, point, um, their paws points, they can go to the store and redeem them for really cool items. So ask your student if they have earned any positive points uh, for PBIS positive behavior. That was a quick overview of PBIS in Bibb County Schools. So ask your children about their PBIS expectations. Ask them if they are being rewarded in their schools and they will tell you the Bibb County way and how they are VIP, victory in progress. Parents, there are several ways that you can follow BIB PBIS, either on the web page or on social media. To access our PBIS webpage, visit www.
www.bcsdk12.net, click Departments or Parents, then click on the PBIS tab. Or if you want to follow us on social media, please visit us at our Bib PBIS Facebook page. We have all types of highlights and we spotlight schools and provide lots of information about PBIS in Bibb County School District. These are a few resources that can help you and support you in implementing PBIS in the home. And also, this will show you about PBIS on the state level through the Georgia Department of Education. If you have any questions about PBIS in your child's school, please reach out to your child's principal or the PBIS coach. Each school in Bibb County has a PBIS coach that you can reach out to. You can also reach out to me. My contact information is posted on this slide. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.